Hi everyone, here is a walkthrough of how to create an accessible homepage in Canvas. Okay, so I'm at my Canvas dashboard and I'm gonna click into my sandbox course. And then I will click the edit button at the top of the page. And I'm going to delete the default text. And you want to type in your course basics. And we want you to add the name of your course, a very brief description, how to get started and your contact info. And then we want you to format for accessibility. So let's start with headings. I'm going to find the natural headings on my page and I'm gonna use the paragraph menu on the rich content editor to drop down and select heading two. And I'm gonna do that with all of my headings using the paragraph menu, heading two. And you're pretty much gonna be using heading two almost all the time. You can only use heading three as a subheading of heading two. So you can't go out of order. So there are my heading twos. It's already looking beautiful. All right, next let's practice with lists. So I'm gonna make my contact information into a list. And I'm gonna go up on the rich content, so, excuse me, highlight your text that you wanna make a list, then go up to the rich content editor. And you have a lot of list options. I'm gonna go with a regular bulleted list. Um, you can use the numbers or the the other ordered lists if there's a reason to do so. In this case, it's not in any order. So I'm gonna use bullets. Um, you can see that already improved readability for my page and it improved the accessibility for anybody using assistive technology. All right, let's practice with links. So we wanna insert links, but we wanna do meaningful link text. So let's add a link to the Canvas inbox here. Um, that's gonna be an external link. Over here is the inbox. I'm gonna right click on it and click copy link address. And then I'm gonna highlight the words I want to hyperlink. And then up on the rich content editor, I'll use the link icon, select external link. You'll do that for anything that's outside of your course. So whether it's the inbox or whether it's um, the college website, your directory page, the library, anything like that. And I'm gonna control V to paste it in. I think that's Command V on a Mac. And click Done. And you'll notice the link uh, link text changed to blue and underlined. The Q and A discussion. If I want to link to that, um, that is in my course. So let's go back up to the link icon on the editor and try a course link because that is a link to within my own course. That's a different menu that it'll pull up. I can link to anything in my course. Here's the Q and A discussion. I'm just gonna click on it. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, it made it blue and underlined. Okay, great. Let's practice adding an image. All right, so um, let's say I wanna add an image here at the bottom of my page, like an image of myself to greet my students. So uh, here's my cursor where I want the image, and then I'm gonna use the image icon up on the editor, and I'm gonna click upload image, and I've got it on my computer. I can just drag it. There it is. Alt text, very important for accessibility to describe this image to somebody who can't see it. I'm gonna put Aloha in her office with children's colorful artwork on the wall. And I'm gonna scroll down and click Submit. It will insert the image, usually very large, okay? So we wanna make it smaller. I'm gonna select it. I can use the corners to drag it smaller, or I can select image options. Here's that alt text if I need to edit the alt text, and here's the sizing menus. So try and make it a little bit smaller. And then at the bottom, you can click done. So yeah, that made it a little bit smaller. Let me make sure my text is where I want it. Great, there's an image. There's one more way you can add an image if you wanna play with it. Um, maybe at the top of your page somewhere, you want to add an image um, of something that represents your course, right? So um, here I am at the top of my page. If I do insert or upload image, instead of dragging an image here, I can go to the Unsplash tab and I can search for an image. This is a repository of public domain images. So um, I might search for something that represents my course. Uh, if I want. <laughs> so maybe some books, right? Um, 
yeah, so search through here, experiment with it. It tells you who, the, who took the picture if you want to give them attribution. Uh, I can select it. And again, I can add alt text for this image. Um, a tower of books and submit. Again, very big. So let's make it smaller. And there we go. So now if I save my page, I've got a beautiful page with the information that my students need uh, formatted for accessibility. All right, have fun.